Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Well, with the Mid-Autumn Festival creeping up on us really quickly, I figured I can read another book about the moon. But this is not a storybook. This is actually going to be a book full of information to teach us about the moon. This book is called Exploring Space, The Moon. And it's a blast-off reader. The moon is the largest and brightest object in the night sky. It is closer to Earth than the sun or any planet. The moon is only about 239,000 miles or 385,000 kilometers away. So it's actually considered pretty close to the Earth. It takes the moon 29.5 days to orbit Earth. The same side of the moon always faces Earth. Orbit means to go around. So the moon orbits the Earth, and the Earth orbits the sun. Moonlight is light from the sun. Sunlight bounces off the moon and shines on Earth. The part of the moon that shines changes as the moon orbits Earth. On Earth, it looks like the moon is a different shape each night. These shapes are called phases. So these are the phases of the moon. First, a small curve of the moon appears. That's a crescent moon. It waxes each night until it is a full moon. So waxes is a waxing moon, and waxing basically just means getting bigger. Then the moon wanes each night. It is called a new moon when it seems to disappear. So when the moon wanes, that's called a waning moon. And that means the moon is getting smaller and smaller until it becomes a full moon, which looks like it disappears. There are light and dark areas on the moon. The dark areas are smooth plains called maria. The light areas are highlands. Tall mountains rise from the highlands. Some rocks there are bigger than a house. Look at the astronaut in this picture. He looks so small next to that rock. The moon has thousands of bowl-shaped holes called craters. Most of the craters formed when meteorites crashed into the moon. So craters are holes on the moon. And they are made from meteorites, which are rocks flying in the space that have gone and hit the moon. Some craters are smaller than a basketball. The largest are more than 1,000 miles, or 1,610 kilometers wide. Wow, that's big. Gray dust covers almost everything on the moon. In some places, the dust is 65 feet, or 20 meters deep. Wow. The moon does not have an atmosphere. There is no air or weather on the moon. The sky is black all the time. The moon is a quiet place. Sound travels through air. Without air, there is no sound on the moon. The moon gets very hot and very cold. The temperature rises to 265 degrees Fahrenheit or 130 degrees Celsius in the sunlight. 
and it drops to minus 310 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 190 degrees Celsius when the sun sets. Wow, that can get very hot and very cold. In 1969, people visited the moon for the first time. Astronauts collected moon rocks to study back on Earth. The astronauts left footprints on the moon. The footprints are still there today. Glossary. This is teaching us what some of the words mean. Astronauts. People who have been trained to fly aboard a space shuttle and work in space. Atmosphere. The gases around an object in space. The moon does not have an atmosphere. Craters. Holes made when meteorites or other space objects crash into moons, planets, or other objects. Full moon. The phase in which the moon appears to be a glowing circle. Highlands. Areas with hill, hills and mountains that are the lightest areas of the moon. Maria. Smooth, flat plains that are the darkest areas of the moon. Maria are craters that filled with lava that later hardened. Meteorites. Pieces of rock or other matter that have fallen from space. New moon, the phase in which the moon cannot be seen. Orbit, to travel around the sun or object in space. The moon completes an orbit of Earth every 29.5 days. That amount of time is called a lunar month. Phases, the different shapes the moon seems to have as it orbits Earth. Wanes. Shrinks in size. The amount of sunlight shining off of the moon decreases as the moon wanes. And waxes. Grows in size. The amount of sunlight shining off of the moon increases as the moon waxes. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.